Now is the time, Portalmaster. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mike with Skylander Nuts and today I'm going to be continuing the walkthrough of Spyro's Adventure. Today we're going to be going to Chapter 3, Sky Schooner Docks, which is a pretty straightforward level. There's not too much trickiness in how to find uh, the objects here. There's one treasure chest that's a little tough and the legendary treasure is slightly tough, easily missable, but uh, not really crazily hidden like in the last couple chapters. So, I'm going to get started today by putting Hex on the portal. As one of the first gates we have to go through is an undead gate. Alright, so here we are. We're next to Flynn and we're ready, I guess, to go. You ready to take off into the wild blue with Skyland's greatest pilot? You betcha. Let's go, Flynn. Aces. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's two for me. But who's counting? Oh, yeah, I am. All we need to do is find their elite airship, take it down, and steal their golden propeller. See? Simple. This is going to be a piece of cake, especially for heroes like us. Heroes who like cake. There we go, the flyby gave us a pretty good shot at a bunch of things on this level. It's kind of funny that the uh, goal that we're trying to get to is kind of empty right now. We don't really, we're going to get a propeller, but it's not going to be there until we actually shoot down a ship. All right, so they want to show us that uh, you can manage your Skylanders. This hex is only a level three. Uh, does not have any powers really, so she's kind of weak. Hopefully I do okay with her. We got the draw the draw spearman here. We gotta I'd be, be a little bit careful with them since look, she does only do eight damage. Alright. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. Tech element is strong, but I'm more worried about getting uh, levels and experience to hex here. Um so I'm not going to bother switching. Get rid of this chompy pod. Oh, that gave you some damage. You have a watermelon here. Get the key. Pretty straightforward stuff so far. This is just your basic gameplay, level gameplay. All right, so now they're giving us another turret. I think we saw those a little bit in the first couple levels, but they were just shooting locks and stuff. Now we get to shoot down some airships. I'm not very good at this because I'm used to uh, inverted controls. These are not. Now, if you wanted to shoot those red rubies here, maybe I can get a couple. They're worth some extra money. Ooh, I shot the I shot down the balloon that is dropping the rubies. That's not good. Stop dropping them. Now, if you let these guys turn too close to you, they will fire some cannonballs. This first level is not very hard, but, but you're gonna do this a couple times uh, on this level. There, I got some money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Starting to miss. Right through the gate. All 
All right, the draw witches are pretty tough. They do throw stuff at you, so you gotta move. Now Hex, see, she's breaking all these things instead of attacking the witch. Her attacks kind of hone in on whatever's closest. So unfortunately, it wouldn't go against the draw witch there until I got rid of some of those containers. Now I like to stand here and just get rid of this jump pod from afar and I'll get rid of this draw witch. Well, sometimes. There we go. She's not even attacking. Oh no! There. Push her right off. Hopefully that registered as a death. Otherwise you get stuck in that situation where you have to restart the level. Because you can't get by a gate or something. Alright. All right, so this is why I'm using Hex. This is our first moment of uh, transit of choice, I guess. The undead gate is over here, and we're gonna get, I think, a treasure chest and a hat here. Until we meet again. There's usually almost two things in every gate, I think. Skylanders of the undead element are stronger in this zone. All right, so this is a propeller farm. We cannot jump, so we have to avoid these spinning blades. We did this a little bit, I think, in one of the earlier chapters, but this is a much bigger and longer uh, trek. Now we want to go all the way to the back. Here we have a, and there's a uh, portal there. We want to skip that and keep going to the back. Oh, uh oh, that was the wrong move. Oh, I got hit a couple times. All right, so back here is the key. That's gonna be important. If you went the other ways, you would not have a key and you'd have to come all the way back here. So now that we have our key, now we wanna make our way back to that uh, portal. Oh no, I got stuck. some time there all right so this little portal is where we need to go now and it brings us right to the treasure chest pretty nice plus you see we have a gate there we need a key for get some health in case you got hit by some blades like I did We want to be careful when we jump here. Kind of take it at this angle from this direction. Oh, I still hit a blade. All right, now the blades come fast. If you get there enough, you can jump over them with this. Gives you a little bit of. Oh man, she is slow. Well, it took some more damage, but we made it to the hat. And really, don't get too upset. I mean, ten. It's only ten damage, I think. The time a blade hits you, it's not that big a deal. All right, we got a propeller cap. We'll put that on Hex. Makes her more magician-like, I guess. I don't know. And then we warp back out to the beginning, where we can just go back over the bridge and continue our level. Watch as the darkness will fade. Ah. First clouds, then Skylanders of the tech element I don't know, are stormy stronger clouds in or this something. zone. Fiery clouds. And we get to shoot down some more ships. Eight of them this time. I think they're bigger. There's the big one, that's the one we want to concentrate on now. There we go. We 
can see the soul gem down there to the left, so let's not forget about that. Most of the things, there's a scroll the you can kind of see, and there's a treasure chest on the stone. right. Um, and now we have an air, spell, an air spell punk to deal with. Now, anytime you see a punk in Skylanders, you should pretty much target them first as they're going to do something to help the enemies. In this case, they, uh, the air spell punk puts that little force field around them which makes the projectiles not work. See, my projectiles aren't working against them. Now, if I used a uh, melee Skylander, that wouldn't be much of an issue. But for her, it is. Now that the spell punk is gone, I'll be able to take these guys out much easier. All right, before we continue on, don't forget there's a scroll here. For as long as anyone can remember, the Skylanders have been friends with fairies. Perhaps this is because fairies can turn treasure into a kind of upgrade magic that gives Skylanders exciting new powers and abilities, plus delightfully fresh breath. There we go, Ta telling us about fairies, which is a bit of foreshadowing in this level, as we will be finding Persephone. All right, get our treasure chest here. That was pretty easy. Kinds of enemies here. I do want to get to that spell punk, which also is helping us lead us to the next elemental gate. All right, there we go. Now, before we continue through there, let's not forget our soul gem was back here. We got Sonic Boom. All right. Resident Frequency Attack. All right, let's go ahead and preview him, or her, I guess. It's a her. Cool, all right, and now we can switch over to Prison Break here. Hyper Beam Prison Break from Swap Force. And he can go through the Earth Gate. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Drop a crystal. Two crystals. And I just demolished the chompy boss in there. Alright, now if you see down there, there's the treasure chest, but if you don't see that, it can be a little tricky. You can just totally miss it. Time your jumps here. Jump up here. Now you might be able to walk off of this one. Let's try it. Nope. All right. Then get her hat. The jester hat. All right. Now prison break is wearing the jester hat. Now. If you didn't see that chest, this would be a little tricky, but you want to walk off the edge here in between these rocks somewhere. There we go. And make it down to this treasure chest. This is the hard, harder to find treasure chest on this um, level. Redo these jumps a little bit. 
wait for a good time or just go over everybody right in there. And then uh, through the portal, brings us back to the beginning. Skylanders of the air element are stronger in this zone. All right, continuing on. And there is Persephone. Hello, extremely. So much fun that the Skylanders are back. We fairies always dance with Skylanders. I am Persephone. Oh dear, not again, silly Dro. I'd best go back to the Core of Light. I will meet you there later for dancing. Happy luck, great Skylander. Alright, so there's Persephone. Now after this level, we'll be able to talk to her to get some upgrades. She's always one of my favorite characters because, you know, she lets us get stronger. Uh, some people don't like her because of the way she speaks. I don't really care. I'm more interested in the discounts. Alright, whoa. Oh, come on. Take him out with a beam like this. Goliath Drow. He's a little bit harder to kill with the uh, beam attack. Well, maybe not. If you catch him before he charges you like this, it might not be too hard. I got him. I think there's another one though. Yep. And some Drow Witches as well. Oh, there you go. He got me. He charged me. This is a little bit of a difficult battle. We gotta move quite a bit here. I like throwing my crystals down on people though. Oh. I got him trapped there again. As long as I can keep hitting him, he can get his uh, charge going. All right. Uh, if you listen carefully, you would have heard two bridges fall. Typically, you just finish the level and go this way, but we want that legendary treasure, so we're going to have to backtrack a little. And this is what's tricky about the legendary treasure on this level. Uh, you just have to backtrack down to this end of the boat. Maybe you noticed it when you got on, but there's a second bridge here. Now you can go down this bridge. Up pops a little portal here. Got to take out this boom blossom, chompy boom blossom there. And there's the legendary treasure. Wild Runners, 150 that time, they're going up, a little bit more gold for each one. Alright, now we just have to make our way back to the other end, other end of the ship and off we go. You can see down there we have another turret, we have one more ship to shoot down and that is the ship with the propeller that we need. Obviously it's going to crash over there on the Last this section is of the, the level. elite airship you are looking for. Shoot it down. Right, now these guys are pretty. There he is. Uh, I, I tend to die on this level a lot. Because all these other smaller ships will get them. You can go straight after the big ship. But yeah, he's... I'm gonna get overwhelmed here in a second. All these guys are hitting me. They're hitting me from all directions. Boom, I'm dead. <laughs> Not really. You just have to jump back in and do it again. Uh, perhaps a stronger Skylander would make this quicker too. 
say no big deal. Well, that was just part one. I think you shoot cannonballs, but it's kind of hard. There we got him. There's the shot off propeller, which looks a little beat up, but I guess we can use it. Nothing left here, and just want to get some extra coins. And then just walk up into it. Well, that's impressive. Almost as impressive as me. Boom! Well, now we should be able to fly even higher. Come on, let's get back so I can get to work. We'll slap this baby on, fly on up to the uh, impenetrable stronghold, pick up the eternal air thingy, and then be back in time for my date with Callie. If she doesn't faint from anticipation first. <laughs> all right, so there we have it. We got all the... Uh enemies no lives lost all areas found we got one soul gem one treasure two hats three chests and the scroll overall not very hard of a level um, probably the easiest one so far uh, the boys still though they missed the legendary treasure because they don't like backtracking so all right there you have it that's going to do it for today's walkthrough of sky schooner docks um, i'll be back again soon with a look at chapter four uh, I'm not sure. There's probably a cutscene after this, so I'll let that play out and get ready for... I think we'll have to go talk to Persephone. I'll do that real quick, and we'll get ready to go into Chapter 4. So until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Happy to dance in this old place. Here is bright and smooth, with many secret parties. We'll play here for a while time. Before you leave, I will help you. I will, I will. I can see you hit it off with Persephone. Strange girl, that one. Seems to be immune to my charms. Poor thing. Well, it's going to take me some time to install this propeller, so why don't you cool your jets, take a load off? Hello, Extremely, once more. For extra enjoyment, I will help you with your play quest. Awesome balloon for an even more awesomer pilot. Boom! Oh, it's got a fuel injected crocagator, a vacuum sealatron, and a jet steam thrust capacitor. Oh, yeah. I am so good, I did it all myself, even had a few parts left over. Are you ready to go, Chief? Okay, but don't blame me if the place is swarming with babes when you get back. You know how irresistible I am to the ladies. Believe it.